They say there isn't a lot of kicking in Aikido, perhaps if any. Rick Ellis is demonstrating kicking as taught to him by his father who was taught by Kenshiro Abbey. With a typical Aikido, you know, when we do it, stood in front of each other, hit Nick catches, put it over into the, uh, to the Sankyo. But to make it adaptable in MMA, I found there's ways you can do reversal on the floor, there's other positions you can do from, uh, but one of the, the typical uh, techniques that, that is game over for people is when they get caught in a rear naked choke. Uh, it's, it is a wrist lock that you can get, but you first got to break the rear naked choke. If Nick gets me, we'll just do a standing, it could be sitting, laying down, either either. Okay, if I can make a break on this hand, if it's sunk in deep, obviously it's going to be very tough to get out. I'll make the break, as I get here, roll this, his elbow over with my shoulder, freeing up this hand. And then as I step through tight here, I've opened up on this entire side to come through with a knee. Okay, I'm not going to get submission from here, but it's going to take him off balance, it's going to put him in a lot pain and difficulty on his elbow, and then I'm going to strike from there, and then follow on with whatever. The uh, next technique stems from the third form Nikio, which is basically grabbing by the collar, which I then went to adapt, catching from a neck catch, rolling the hand over, and putting on a, um, a wrist lock. It goes up through the elbow and through the wrist. Uh, the way I incorporate it, I incorporate it in MMA, there's several different ways. One of the ways is when I'm on my back, I've got Nick in my guard, and he's pushing my head down by the throat, trying to make things very uncomfortable. Okay, I reach over, my hand mirrors his hand. Thumb over thumb, I roll the thumb over, push my shoulder up, and I'm breaking a lot from there. Obviously, if he tries to come up with his hand, with his hand, I'm gonna pop through and transition into something MMA, like a triangle, okay? It's a little bit of a reverse Sankyo. Uh, I first come across it and got a tap, when I was going for an Uma Pilata, which um, I just didn't put off particularly well, and I was stuck with a loose arm between my legs. Uh, didn't really want to give up my position. Uh, it was a bit, little bit 60-40 in their favour, and I still had the arm. Put on a, like, like a Nikyo and a reverse Sankyo, got the tap, and this is kind of how it went. So, Nick was in my guard, here defensive, broken the guard, come up, 
tried to cut over here, and as I tried to get up, I just couldn't get there. I rolled the hand up and over, like a reverse Nikio, oh like that, and got the tap from there. Okay? I'm gonna just roll the fingers over to touch the mat, obviously causing this rotation in the wrist and the elbow, and as you'll hear quite clearly, got the tap there. Well. Okay, and just finally to wrap up today, it was an adaptation that came from um, Koda Gish. Again, from third form, we're thinking of catching up here, the hands are high, and uh, instead of catching on the gi, as in, uh, in Aikido, the hands up here, 50-50, we're in here, we've pummeled in here, what I do is slip this hand through up, push the head, and as I come down, travel down across the arm, and this is here for the lock. Um, Nick's not an Aikidoka, he wouldn't break full, he'd go to the back, or he'd go in straight into the mat, where I'd be falling in with a ground and pound, or some kind of hold, submission, whatever. Well, thank you, Rick, and thank you, Nick Chan.